in this video we are basically going to discuss uh, some uh, uh, difficult or you may say that complicated cases of uh, uh, shading a Venn diagram uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to shade uh, union and intersection of two sets uh, in a Venn diagram and we are going to uh, shade some cases from difference of two sets in a Venn diagram uh, we have been through these uh, type of questions, but uh, uh, today I will be attempting some questions that uh, are uh, a bit difficult for you people. So just for the sake of guidance, I am uh, going to uh, solve these questions. So question number one is shared uh, the following and you have to share A union B uh, whole complement. Okay, so first of all this is a rectangle and this rectangle uh, denoted by the symbol that is of universal set as you know that uh, universal set uh, is a set which is represented by this rectangle in a venn diagram so draw one circle and draw the other circle now the circles this circle is uh, named as a while this one is named as b uh, these circles represent subsets uh, within a universal set no, you have to you have to uh, shade uh, or you have to uh, highlight the region which is indicated by a union b whole complement. Now, first of all, uh, you must know what is basically what what region will uh, be considered in a union b. Now, a union b means the region which is uh, uh, in a this one as well as the region that is included in B. Union mean combine the region of A and B. So I have combined the region of A and B. Now as you as you as you can see that uh, A union B A union B I have indicated or I have shaded this region with horizontal lines. These horizontal lines represent A union B. Now the, now the, the question was to shade A union B complement basically i need to shade the complement of a union b and uh, as you know that complement of a union b mean no a union b mean you no need to consider a union b a union b complement mean not include a union b you need not to consider this one in complement in complement of a union b we are going to uh, consider the region that is outside of uh, uh, a union b so no, that region is uh, is being shaded by these slant lines or inclined lines you may uh, call them now these inclined lines uh, basically uh, represents the answer of uh, this part a union b complement so these slant lines or inclined lines now this is the answer for a union b complement the region outside uh, a union b this region is the answer for this one now in this part we are going to share a complement union b complement so in these sort of questions or in this type of question first of all decide uh, which criteria you are going to use for shading a complement now let's suppose that i am going to shade uh, a complement by horizontal lines a complement by horizontal lines and I will be shading uh, B complement uh, by vertical lines now this is helpful in this case when you have to shade complements of two sets uh, uh, in a single question now a complement is to be shaded by horizontal lines now these horizontal lines represents a complement uh, that mean the region other than a this one and you can see that i am not going through the region a or the circle of a because it is not included in a complement now the uh, this is the shading for basically a complement uh, now the B complement is to be uh, shaded uh, with the vertical lines so now using vertical lines to shade B complement which means the region other than B now I am not going through B because I am shading B complement now B is not to be shaded in case of 
b complement so i have not included b or vertical lines are not passing through b now these vertical lines represent uh, b complement while horizontal lines represent a complement now union uh, of a complement and b complement uh, is the region which is included in a complement as well as uh, the region which is included in b complement so the answer uh, will be this complete uh, rectangle including these two circles the reason is that uh, you have to include uh, uh, the complete region uh, that uh, or you have to include those parts which has horizontal lines as well as uh, uh, the part which has vertical lines uh, now uh, you can see that uh, you have double lining uh, outside uh, these two circles we have double lines now double line means we have uh, horizontal lines as well as we have vertical lines here now that mean uh, horizontal line is basically a complement and uh, and and this vertical line this one is basically b complement now this mean that presence of horizontal line shows a complement presence of vertical line shows b complement uh, so this outside region uh, has uh, both a complement and b complement over here but in these circles we have here th these are horizontal lines so here we have uh, a complement horizontal lines mean a complement and, and these vertical lines are only here which means we have b complement uh, uh, represented by vertical lines over here so in case of union uh, you have to consider the double lines double lines indicate presence of both a complement and b complement and we have to consider the single lines that means horizontal line and vertical line in the circle as well because union mean you have to consider uh, uh, a complement as well as b complement it is not necessary that both a complement and b complement should be uh, present uh, in case of union uh, union includes uh, all the area whether it is in a complement or whether it is in b complement or whether it is in both a complement and b complement so this outside area is for both a complement and b complement this area uh, in which we have horizontal lines is area of a complement and this area in which we have vertical lines only is area for b complement so uh, this complete region will be the answer for a complement union b complement now because uh, i have i have shaded the region that is showing a complement and b complement now i want to uh, basically discuss the intersection of a complement and b complement uh, using this set as well uh, the intersection no, the thing here is that intersection mean this mean this mean common area common area uh, an area in which we have a complement as well as we have p complement now intersection has common area in which we have a complement and b complement now if you if you observe this diagram and uh, from this diagram common area is the area where you will be having both the lines both the lines mean you have horizontal line as well as vertical line now the horizontal line indicates a complement so all, you can see these these are the horizontal lines these are horizontal lines which mean we have a complement in this area and these are vertical lines and vertical line shows b complement so the area where you will be having double lines that shows a complement as well as b complement this area is the common part where you have a complement as well as you have b complement in this part where you have double lines so this area of double lines is the answer for intersection uh, this part is not included in intersection as well as this part is not included in intersection the reason is very simple you should have both the lines for intersection this part has only a single lining and that is of uh, b complement uh, sorry that is of a complement horizontal lines and this part has only b complement because we have only vertical lines over here so these two parts don't have both a complement and b complement in them at the same time uh, while this region has a complement 
as well as v complement indicated by horizontal lines as well as vertical lines so this is the answer for intersection this outer part while union has this part as well as these two circles as well now consider this question in which we have to shade A complement minus B complement. Now first of all shade A complement and then shade B complement and choose two different types of lines. For A complement use horizontal lines. For B complement use vertical lines. Now you can see uh, horizontal lines. Now these horizontal lines basically show uh, the region where A complement is present. Uh, no, that is the region in which uh, we don't have uh, the circle of A. In A complement, the circle of A is not included and you can see that in the circle of A, we don't have any horizontal line. We don't have any horizontal line uh, because horizontal lines are the part of A complement. So, A complement is the part other than A, mean you not include, don't include A. Now, for B complement, we have to shade the region that doesn't include B. B is not included in B complement and B complement is indicated by vertical lines. So you can see that we have vertical lines everywhere other than in B. We don't have vertical lines in B. Uh, this, this line shouldn't be over here. So just need to cancel this one. This is not part of this. Okay. Now, now Yes, we don't have vertical lines here in B because vertical lines are not are, are B complement and they should be outside B. Okay. However, horizontal lines uh, horizontal lines are present in B because horizontal lines are part of A complement. Mean you have to shade A complement outside A. So outside the circle A, you have got horizontal lines that is a complement why vertical lines are outside b so this was by mistake so i have excluded this vertical line this shouldn't be part of b a vertical line should be outside b because they represent b complement okay now the question is a complement minus b complement the concept is simple you simply need to choose that area uh, which is part of a complement but we shouldn't have B complement in that part. Now, first of all, choose the area in which you have a complement. This outside area is a part of a complement because we have horizontal lines in this outer part. So, this outer part has a complement as well as it is also B complement. So, basically, this part will not be included because I have to uh, subtract B complement from A complement. Now this part has B complement as well. This part because we have vertical lines here. You can see that these are vertical lines. Outside the circles you have vertical lines. Vertical line mean this part has B complement. And we have to exclude B complement. Minus B complement mean exclude. Exclude this part. So this complete part will be excluded this is part of a complement but it is also part of b complement so excluding b complement will exclude all this area now the thing is left over in these two circles now now we have uh, uh, a complement uh, we don't have a complement in a so this part will also will not be included in my answer i am only left with this part where i have a complement and i don't have b complement so this part, this part is my answer in this case. The reason is this, that this part has A complement and uh, we don't have B complement over here. So question was to shade the region that is A complement minus B complement. So after subtracting B complement from A complement, mean after excluding the area of B complement in the area of A complement, which was this this was the area of a complement but this was also area of b complement this complete region so excluding b complement from the area of a complement this complete area will be excluded while this area will be left because there is no b complement here in this part so this part will be the answer for a complement.
कंप्लीमेंट दिस पार्ट विल बी द आंसर फॉर ए कंप्लीमेंट माइनस बी कंप्लीमेंट दिस पार्ट इज द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन नो इन दिस पार्ट वी हैव टू शेड पी कंप्लीमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस रेक्टेंगल इज अ यूनिवर्सल सेट इन दिस वन एंड देन वी हैव टू सर्कल्स दिस लार्ज सर्कल इज ऑफ पी वाई दिस स्मॉल सर्कल इज ऑफ क्यू दिस क्यू द सर्कल ऑफ क्यू इज इन साइड पी विच मीन्स क्यू इज अ सबसेट ऑफ पी मीन क्यू इज अ पार्ट ऑफ पी नो एज यू नो पी कंप्लीमेंट मीन नॉट पी पी कंप्लीमेंट मीन नॉट पी सो इफ यू हैव टू शेड द रीजन ऑफ पी कंप्लीमेंट दैन दैट मीन द रीजन अदर दैन पी नॉट पी मीन पी इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी शेडेड दिस पी इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड सो द रीजन आउटसाइड पी विच इज दिस वन दैट इज नॉट पी विल बी शेडेड एज पी कंप्लीमेंट सो दिस पार्ट विल बी द आंसर फॉर दिस केस दिस आउटसाइड रीजन दिस वन this one inside the rectangle you have to be inside the rectangle this part now i have shaded all the region inside the rectangle but not p and q is a part of p so q will also not be shaded now next one is shade p intersection q the diagram is same as the previous one intersection mean common part of p as well as of q so in this case when q is a subset of p this part is part of q definitely this is q but this is also a part of p so this area or this region this one this one is answer for p intersection q because this is also part of p as well as a common to q as well in this part we have to shade p minus q p minus q mean exclude q exclude q from p mean exclude this q circle from p so when you will exclude this q from the circle of p then this part will be left after subtracting q from p so this will this shaded area is the answer for this p minus q these were some uh, uh, basic uh, discussion on some difficult questions on the topic of venn diagram uh, so keep watching thank you so much